Today, we're going to take a look at how to replace and separate the powder from its container using generative fill and also how to replace its color using basic retouching tools. Hi there, and welcome to Product Retouching Course. My name is Svetlana Trifonov, and you can find me at productretouchingcourse.com, where we talk about all things post-production for product photography. So here we have a composition where a powder at the top spilling out of the container, and we need to separate the powder so we have the same clean edge, just like the container at the bottom. And also when powder is separated, we don't want that much of it. We want it to be more flat, and it has to work well with the composition. So the easiest way to do this is to use generative fill. And for that, we need a selection. I'm going to press L on keyboard to switch to lasso tool and then draw a selection around powder. Now generative fill is active. I'm gonna leave it blank and just click on generate. And now three different options are being generated. So let's go ahead and cycle through them by clicking on these arrows. And none of these are exactly what I was looking for. So I'm going to click Generate again and see what I get this time. So now this is more like it. This is pretty much what I was looking for. But before committing, I will compare this to the other generated options. And that first one from the second generation was the best one. I'm going to cycle back to that option. And here's my final image. You can see how easy it was to make the separation using this AI tool, which would have taken much longer without it. This is before, and this is after. Now let's go back to before, and let's take a look how we can change the color of this powder and the container where it's spilling out from by using only basic retouching tools. So first thing I'm going to do is create a copy of a background layer by dragging it to the plus icon at the bottom of the layers palette. And then I will drag that new copy layer to the top of the stack. Next, I need to select the powder. And the easiest way to do this is by first selecting the white background. So from the top menu, we're going to go to select and then color range. Then with an eyedropper, I'm going to sample pure white around the image. And because I want this to be a tight selection, I'm also going to use a dropper with a plus sign to get as close to those powder sprinkles as I possibly can. Now we have the selection of the background, but I need this to be the opposite. I need this to be a selection of the powder. So I'm going to press Control Shift I. This will inverse the selection. Now I'm going to hold down Alt to subtract from the selection, and I'm going to make a mistake here on purpose by not selecting the round container. This way I can show you how to fix it later and give you more control over these parts of the image. Now we're gonna to go to Select and Mask Workspace, and you can click on this button right here, where you can go to the top menu and choose Select, and then Select and Mask. And here we are in a Select and Mask Workspace. And you can see this workspace is different than Photoshop. It has a toolbar over to the left and over to the right, Properties panel with the controls you can use to refine the selection. First up here is the View menu, and here you can decide how you want to view the image. Next, where it says Edge Detection, I'm going to drag the radius slider over to the right and keep an eye on the white pixels around the powder sprinkles until most of it disappears. And this is as far as I want to go before it starts eating into the powder. Over on the left, there's a magnifying glass. I'm going to zoom in into this area so I can better see what I'm doing. And now also on the left, we have the second tool, which is called Refine the Edge tool. Now with this tool selected, I'm going to make the brush smaller by using bracket keys, just like I would in Photoshop. And I'm going to paint the areas where I see the background peeking through. Let's zoom out. And to go back to Photoshop, we're going to use Output 2 and then choose Selection. And then we're going to press OK. And now we have a very precise selection of the powder. Next, I'm going to press Ctrl J to place the selection on the new layer. And now that this powder is on its own separate layer, we can target its color independently from the rest of the image. I'm going to turn on Background Copy Layer and we're going to change the color of this layer by going down and clicking on the Layers Adjustment icon and then choosing Hue Saturation. And then I want to clip it to the layer below, so this way I'm only affecting the powder. And now to adjust this color, I only want to target the reds. So I'm going to choose reds from the drop-down and move the slider left to something like this, then drag the lightness slider to the right 
to make it a little bit lighter. And this is the point where we would come to realize that we have made a mistake and did not include the container where the powder is spilling from into our selection. So to fix this, I'm going to switch to pen tool by pressing P, zoom in and create path around the circle. Now, if you don't know how to use pen tool or other basic tools in Photoshop, check out my product retouching course by following the link in the description below. Now the path is complete. We're going to right click, make selection. We want 0.3 pixels for the edge. Press OK. And now I'm going to make sure that the background copy layer is selected. I'm going to press Ctrl J and paste the selection on the new layer. And now I can target the container independently, same as the powder. And to do this, I will make a copy of the hue and saturation adjustment layer by dragging it to the plus icon at the bottom of the layers palette, then placing it above the circular container and then clipping it to the layer below so it only affects the container. Now let's organize these layers into its own separate folder. And now you can see how we have seamlessly adjusted this complex part of the image. And now you know how to remove powder from the edge of the container using AI tools and change the color of the powder inside and outside of the container with basic retouching tools. Now, if you found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my other videos for more tips and tricks. Also, to be sure to check out my other courses where I teach all things post-production for product photography. See you next time.